In mid-February, I was doing some astrophotography and something weird appeared on my final photograph. So I had a small gap between two narrowband targets and I decided to do some LRGB photography that I usually don't do because I live in a Bortle 9 area. But again, I had roughly three hours to fill, so I decided to aim for the Leo triplets. So this is the final stack that you can see here. Now, you see, it's not a great photograph. It's a borderline area with a limited amount of time. But let's just ignore the galaxies for a while and have a look at the outskirts of this photograph. So for the untrained eye, this looks probably like a stacking artifact or a lens flare or something like that. But remember that I'm shooting in monochrome here. Flares with colors don't appear in my photographs like that. So I immediately suspected I knew what it was, but still I had to confirm this. So when I do LRGB photographs, I usually do it in a specific way. I tend to use the RGB filters first and then the luminance filter in the end for as long as I can. And I also do RGB filter for roughly 30 minutes per filter. So you can actually see that this is most likely a moving object, moving from the red colors towards the gray color, which is the luminance. So the stacking software didn't manage to take this artifact away because it's not an artifact, it's actually a moving object which has moved during the time that I've taken the photographs. If this was a one-shot color camera, the stacking software would most likely had removed this artifact or this thing. So there is something there, we need to check what it is. So I took all my subs and created a timeline. I had to confirm what my suspicion about this object was. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to give it a like. It helps me a lot as a creator. And also, if you want to see more of my content, astronomy, astrophotography content, don't forget to don't forget to subscribe. And comments are, of course, always welcome in the comments section. First off, I had to get a rough magnitude of this object. Looking at inthesky.org, I selected a star that had a magnitude defined in this case a magnitude 7.1 star. Combined with the magnitude of M65 at 9.3, I approximated the object to be roughly around magnitude 10. Next up is the coordinates. Using plate solving in PixInsight, I could easily get the rough coordinates of the object at a given time. I selected a time frame around 10.26 pm and with plate solving I could easily find or at least approximate the coordinates of this object. So I went over to the computer and started doing my research immediately. Now this search seemed to take a lifetime. I was so nervous to see if I was going to get a hit or not. Because I knew if there wasn't any results, I would most likely have discovered something new. The results, however, gave me a hit. 129 Antigone, a magnitude 10.9 asteroid matching the time and coordinates of my photograph. Upon reading a little bit about this asteroid, I learned that it was discovered at 1873 by an astronomer named Christian Peters from New York. And now, 150 years later, 
I have it in my photograph. So this asteroid, which lies in orbit between Jupiter and Mars, much like a lot of our asteroids, take around five years to complete an orbit around the Sun. Further investigation showed that the asteroid I captured was indeed 129 and the goal. Everything matched the time, the direction, the coordinates, the magnitude and the orbit. So there we are, 129 Antigone. As expected, the photograph of the Leo triplets isn't that good, but this is my first ever asteroid captured. And also, if you like this video, I do have another great project that I did a while ago, trying to find the supernova remnant of the Jellyfish Nebula, which NASA used a space telescope to discover, and I just wanted to see if I could capture it from my telescope from this balcony that I had. Yeah, well, so this is it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. And again, like, subscribe, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, I see you next time. Bye.